we'd like to introduce you to a new concept in travel books. It's an electronic video book. It's got text, it's got photographs, and it has video. Tap and select a chapter and start the video. Well, let's start out the walk from Largo, Argentina, which is an unusual collection of four ancient temples. It'll play on your iPad and iPhone, but not on your computer, so we're creating this demo for you to watch on your screen. Well, you've now arrived at Piazza di Spagna. This piazza and the steps are absolutely bursting with people all the time, attracted here by this special combination of wonderful urban elements. The setting is like another painting or postcard come to life. There's a lot of text as well, of course, that describes all of the sites and over 300 color photographs. The Altar of Peace is a major archeological site right near the Spanish Step. It has a striking exterior museum building that was designed by the American architect Richard Meyer. And certainly one of the biggest attractions with this new concept of video guidebook are the movies. We've got 36 movies about Rome scattered through the book that go with the text in the various chapters, and you can pick and choose right in the electronic table of contents. Trastevere is one of the best neighborhoods for restaurants and for walking and being out among the locals. It's just across the Tiber River from the historic center of Rome. There are numerous little trattorias that abound in the side streets. We cover the entire city. There are six walks, each take about half a day, so it'll take you about three days to get a really thorough look at Rome. And with the tips in the book, you can do it. Via Marguta, an uh, artsy little side street, is especially fun to stroll. Via Marguta is hidden away. You'd never know it exists unless you were looking for it. And yet, it's really so close to the center. It's just around the corner from the Piazza di Spagna. Continue walking along Via dei Coronari and Turn right in one of those little narrow alleys that lead in a few minutes towards the church of Santa Maria de la Pace, the heart of yet another precious little neighborhood. The Basilica of St. John Lateran is perhaps the second most important church in the entire Catholic world, second to St. Peter's, because this is really the oldest major church well, it's lots of fun to play with, whether you're in the city of Rome touring or at home getting ready for a trip or looking back on a past trip. And the Forum is just around the corner, so I'll walk on down the steps into the ancient Roman Forum. Armchair travelers will also enjoy the book because it brings Rome to life. The Roman Colosseum. It's the greatest building to come down to us from antiquity. The display is bright, the pictures are colorful and the detailed maps will help you navigate. We're going to bring you to one of the artistic hideaways in the city and show you a fabulous statue. It's one of the most remarkable statues in the history of art, the Ecstasy of Teresa. Rome is just one of the world's best cities to discover on foot and our new electronic video guidebook is the best way to discover Rome.